Hi, my name's Thee, and we're going to be discussing Age of Sigma yet again, this time Rumor Engine. And I wouldn't normally do this, uh, but it may be a model that I'm particularly interested in, but it certainly created a bit of a debate. So for those who don't know, on the Warhammer community side of Games Workshop's website, they have the Rumor Engine. Occasionally they throw up a bit of a model uh, as a bit of a teaser for something that's going to be announced at some point in the near future. And what we've got is essentially the fetlock of a horse. And uh, someone did actually put a comment on, on the video this week, mine saying, do you think this could be for the Blood Knights? And I had to respond, it could well be. Now, looking at it in terms of what it is and what it isn't, um, one thing we can definitely say, it's not anymore bloody Lumineth Realm Lords. Uh, el shiny elves don't have horses with injuries on them. So what we can see here clearly is uh, some cuts on the horse's leg. Now, I'm gonna be honest, if I were to just look at this and someone to say, what do you think this is? I would say a chaos horse. And I know there are some who are thinking, oh, it'd be, be new chaos marauder horsemen, um, which it may be, I don't know. I actually talked recently about the baffling way in which Games Workshop decide which models to release. It doesn't really seem to fit much of a plan. And that's what I would look at it as, but it could easily be Blood Knights as well. Now I will have to just point out a few things. Partly, I mean, I am desperate for them to announce a new plastic range of Blood Knights because the old absolutely appalling resin models, which in order for you to even put them on, um, the, the bases that Games Workshop say you have to put them on to be legal, certainly if you wanted to use them in the tournament, take some, okay, minor, but minor conversion work. So, yeah, they need the plastic models. I did see someone saying, oh, you know, the Chaos Marauder Horsemen, they need updated models. And I always think, well, you know, I, I get that some people who play a particular army uh, will always feel that if, if certain models are a few years old, they need them. I would argue if you've got a plastic kit, a modern plastic kit, even if it's 10 years old, I don't actually know how old the current Marauder Horsemen are, then that's, that's still fine. I mean, bear in mind, when you look at some of the models for Games Workshop now, they're so breathtaking, but what is, it's almost like they have to put lots and lots of extra detail in now because they can and because that's how you push the envelope now. The models even 10, 15 years ago were, were good. They were so good, in fact, that um, they would still look fine now. But I do look at it and, and all, I want there to be Blood Knights announced. I need there to be, I'm, I'm, I don't necessarily expect it. So you see something like this and of course you want it to be Blood Knights. Where do the problems arise? Uh, so the first of all is, blood, if you look at the Blood Knights as they are now, so, They've, they're armoured. The horse that we can see in the rumour engine here doesn't have that same level of armour on it. So again, this is why it has led people to think about Marauder Horsemen. And if you look at Marauder Horsemen as they are now, um, some are armoured and some are not. So it could certainly be a, a Chaos Marauder Fetlock that just happens to not be the armoured portion. That would fit. Does it fit as well for a Blood Knight? You look at the old Blood Knight and you think, well, no, because they're armoured. But then you look at the Vampire Lord. I think this, this was Manfred, wasn't it? They're one of the, if not the original Manfred von Karstein model originally, but now it's just Vampire Lord on mount. And you'll notice that they're not armoured. So it's not automatically the case that a vampire rides around on, um, on a steed that is armoured everywhere, including on the fetlocks. So... It doesn't discount the fact that this could be from Blood Knights. And, and you would, you'd look at this horse and you'd think, well, it's, it's in dis a certain amount of disrepair. You would certainly be thinking in terms of chaos or undead. But where, although I look at it and I think, yes, this absolutely could be Blood Knights, absolutely could. If I'm honest, and if I had to put money on it, I would put money on chaos horse of some description and it could well be Marauder Horseman would be the nature of the cuts. So it's in a cross action, it's not random cuts. Now with, um, you know, a steed for a vampire, you might almost imagine it's an undead horse. So it's been cut down in battle and then raised up again. 
I would expect the cuts to be more haphazard, you know, battle cuts. This looks to me like a ritual cut. And that would suggest to me chaos rather than undead. On the other hand, we can see soul blight models coming out, vampire models, yes, for other games, but the Legions of Nagash Battle Tome is now very dated and uh, will absolutely need updating. And they keep using the term whenever they announce new things, liberal use of the word soul blight as if soul blight is coming uh, for Age of Sigma as well. And at the same time you think, is there, what would be the reason for bringing out new, say, Slaves to Darkness models this year? Not a lot. It doesn't mean they won't do it. Again, like I said, releases don't always seem to follow a plan. I'm not saying they never do, but they don't always seem to follow a coherent plan. So they could easily bring out a random unit of, of Slaves to Darkness updated unit. Um, maybe they're even planning on, you know, a start collecting box, but rather than based on the new Chaos Warriors and Chaos Knights, this is based on Marauders. You know, it might have a Marauder Hero, a new Marauder Hero, some new Chaos Marauders on foot and some new mounted Chaos Marauders. That's possible as well. Um, so yeah, I, I'm sort of in two minds. On the one hand, I look at it and I think that looks like a ritual cut, looks more chaosy than undead. On the other hand, I think, well, we're expecting more undead models to be released. Are we really expecting some more Slaves to Darkness stuff? No but neither one's a clinching argument. But those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you later.